Hey, John Cristani here. I'm gonna show you three ways to structure your day as an entrepreneur. Now, I struggle with brain fog and confusion and distractions all day trying to work for myself. And I don't know if you do the same thing, if you run in a side hustle, there are things out there that are invading your mind. And I'm gonna go over three things that I've done to really help me be hyper-focused as an entrepreneur and make over a million dollars a year running a one person company, that's me. For the last number of years now, at least three years, I've been making over a million dollars profit take home a year by applying these principles. So how do you make so much darn money as an entrepreneur working for yourself, working a side hustle? Well, I'm gonna show you my principles for being a entrepreneur, for managing my time, because the thing is, we're constantly getting bombarded with social media messages, Facebook posts, emails, YouTube videos, and Twitters and whatever about things that are pretty interesting and may be helpful for our day, but how do you find a way to focus on what's right? First off, what you wanna do as an entrepreneur is you are only paid on results. You are only paid to get stuff done. And for all of us, there's different things, whether it's, you know, working, you know, creating, maybe you're a freelance photographer, or maybe you're doing big deals that take six months or more to get done. You want to always focus on things that are progressing to get money in your pocket. I say, no matter what, everything you do should 50% be focused. Your entire day, 50% of your time at least should be focused on getting money in your pocket. Now, what does that mean? That means if you are out there trying to get closed deals, 50% of your time should be finding new deals to get and closing the ones you have instead of doing research or servicing deal or all the other stuff that's not directly related to getting money. If you're a marketer like me, 50% of your time at least should be spent marketing, okay? For me, what that means in my business, the way I've made my millions of dollars is I've been doing ads, lots of ads. I spend time making ads. I've had ads on TV. I've had ads on Facebook. I've had ads on YouTube. I've had ads on TikTok, on Twitter, on uh, Twitch, on all sorts of mediums. And I create ads so that every $1 I spend comes back to me with $2. So I spend $1 on ads and I make back $2. And that's my business model. I find place to advertise where I can spend less and make more. That's how I make money, okay? So I always spend 50% of my time making ads. That's my day. If you wanna learn more about what I do, you can check out videos and you know, links in description. Check the links in the description. But for you, for everybody, that might be different, but you got to be able to track things back to money. Now, every ad I do doesn't work out. I have a lot of failures under my belt, just as any business person is going to have a lot of failures when they're trying to find new clients or trying to close deals or trying to do jobs or whatever that is. As a business person, 50% of your time should be spent getting in more money. Again, you can hire people to do the rest of the stuff, okay? Maybe if you're a consultant, it's different, but 50% of your time should be spent finding more money to get. Simple, right? Let's go on to the next tip. Track yourself, folks. Track yourself. I'm not even joking. Now, most people become entrepreneurs because they don't want to track themselves at all. I track myself. I have a log. I have an Excel spreadsheet where I write down to the minute what I work on each day. And I make sure that I let myself know whether that is a money-focused topic. Okay, if you don't track yourself, you are lazy. You heard me, if you don't track yourself, you are lazy. Don't fall into that trap. 
track yourself down in a minute, Excel spreadsheet, or even just a notepad is a really good way to just write down what you've been doing. And you can see, and it'll, it, it's really crazy when you realize how much time you end up wasting on things like social media or email or Slack. I'm so guilty of just wasting hours of my day between email, Slack, and Skype. It just it boggles my mind how much time I waste. So it's really good practice to find out how much time you've been losing. Turn off things. That's my third tip. I'm gonna have my bonus tip right after this where I go a little more heady. I get a little more intellectual with y'all. Yeah, spit some knowledge. But the next thing is turn off things. Where's my phone? Right here, folks. You see this phone? See this? This is called a flip phone and it is completely on silence. So when somebody tries to contact me, guess what? I don't hear them. The only way I get in contact with folks is if I message them, if I call them. Uh, and in my business, which is doing advertising, that's the way it should be. Phone calls and text messages serve me zero purpose in making money online. Now, many of you might have a business where you phone calls mean money so, and that's fine. Don't turn off your phone like that. But in my case, I got rid of my phone because I don't need it. It's a distraction on my day and it's constantly, I don't know if you know where you kind of patch your pockets and you're like, oh, let me check social media for some little validation, you know, validation points. Let me see how many, let me see how many uh, comments people left on my next YouTube video. All BS folks. P don't react to your phone. Turn those things off if you don't need them or if you don't need certain apps, you can just turn off the notifications. If you don't need to be using your phone, put it on silent, put it on airplane mode, put it on do not disturb mode. Don't let it bother you from focusing on what's meaningful, which is making that money, okay? And now I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you. Check this one out. We're getting fancy, so this is called Pareto's principle. And this is a pretty important principle. It's pretty simple. And it's called, it's also known as the 80 20 rule. The Italian philosopher Pareto, what he, came, what he realized is that 80% of stuff is produced by 20% of the work. 80% of the wealth was focused in 20% of the people. You can apply this number to all sorts of things. But the point being, it's a power law. Okay. It's meaning that the money that you make is in a very small amount of time. Everything's exponential. And because of computers, things have gotten more exponential. And it's also a reason why the whole idea about salaries and being paid an hourly wage is just, it really doesn't make sense because you're gonna get such a lowest common denominator money number when if you're working as an entrepreneur, you're going to make vastly more amounts of money if you are willing to think and use your brain and focus your time in this region where all the productivity and all the money and all the, all the stuff is made. So what I do is I'm continually looking at where I focus my time as a marketer and I'm saying, where do I make the most money? And what I realized early on is, I got a lot of leverage with doing advertising. Spending my time on ads versus the other free traffic methods I teach, which is messaging links to people and you know trying to get clients. I used to run a marketing agency where I would have companies pay me a thousand bucks a month to do their marketing. But when I realized that if I just focused my time instead on doing marketing for the companies that were willing to pay me a commission, I could make vastly more amount of money with less time and I was able to leverage myself so that I made a lot more money. For years, I was in between the zone of doing performance marketing and running a real business, you know, getting these clients, paying me a thousand bucks a month because I thought that by talking to real business owners and conversing with them and having employees. This is back when I was like 22 or 23, that business owners and employees was, was the real way to run a business. And most of my money, maybe 20, 25,000 a month, was I was making through doing affiliate marketing. And I had affiliate marketing fund me for years before I took it full time because I thought I needed to run a real business. But then I did Pareto's principle and I said, why am I wasting 80% of my time 
on trying to start a real business when I make way more money doing affiliate marketing in 20% of my time. And what I did was I focused just on the place I made the most money, which was the performance deals I had. And these companies didn't care to talk to me at all. They said, if you get us business, we'll give you money for every customer you bring us. And they never spoke to me other than saying, here's a link. Just that's it. They gave me a link and they said, if you make sales, we'll send you money. When I focused full time on that, and this was around 2014, my income went to somewhere around, I was making between 25 to $50,000 a month running my own marketing agency to making 250 to $500,000 a month. I 10 x my income by focusing on where I was most productive and where I was most skilled at and what I was best at. It seems obvious in hindsight, why did I toil for years trying to service clients and start a real business? Why? Because I had this imaginary idea in my head of how business and entrepreneurship was supposed to be. It makes no sense in hindsight, folks. Focus on what you're best at, look at your time, track your time, turn off things and make sure that 50% of your time that you're working on your side hustle or your business is focused on money. And if you're working for Uber or Lyft or some of these jobs which are hourly based where you can't really focus your time and effort, you're not a real entrepreneur folks, okay? I know a lot of people say, I'm an Uber driver and I'm an entrepreneur. You're not an entrepreneur. You're, there's no way to scale your income to whatever it is you want. You're working for a company through an app. That's it. All there is, is that you have no corporate ladder. There's nobody above you. There's nobody below you. It's just, it's a flat pyramid with a big tall obelisk or obelisk or whatever in the middle. There's nothing. So if you wanna be an entrepreneur, if you wanna learn how to do the things that I do and make the crazy income some of us guys on YouTube are making, make sure to check out the links in the description. I have my number one traffic method which explains what I do, affiliate marketing step by step. I got my start in business using other people's products and using other people's money to sell them and making a fat cut in the middle and I'll show you how you can do that too. So check out all the stuff. I have links to everything in the description. Thank you for watching. Make sure to spank that like button, spank that subscribe button, and leave a comment, ask questions. I'm here, I love reading the comments. I love answering questions. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video, bye.